There I am. There we are. Hi, sorry. Oh, it's okay, Gina. It's all good. Jenna. Jenna, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me on that. So um, I uh, have, you sent me this list of all these exciting flowers that we're going to see. And I was like, oh my gosh, it goes on and on and on. It's so, pretty well. Yeah, it's incredible. I, I mean, I was just commenting on, I remember, what, 10 years ago, five years ago, the selection of things that were available uh, and what is available now is like night and day difference. And really glad to see that. So. For sure, it used to just be straw flower and status. Like those were the dried <laughs> options, straw flower status, and then some hydrangeas that you would dry in your garage. That was right. the thing back in the day, and now it's yeah. definitely different. Yeah. So, Jenna, tell us a little bit, um, uh, how long have you been with Floor Abundance? Tell us a little bit about yourself real quick. Um, I've been at Floor Abundance 16 years in October, wow. and I've been in the floral industry for 20 plus. I'm, I'm bad with dates and things, but <laughs> been in the floral industry for a really long time. <laughs> yeah. I've kind of worked every part of it. I've worked for growers, wholesalers, retail, uh, done weddings on the side, design, all that stuff. So I've done a little bit of everything. Well, I know that that's, that, that gives you the ability to identify with almost any floral business owner of any kind. And uh, that's, that's awesome. And I do try to. I definitely try to. So what do you do for Floral Abundance specifically? I am the main buyer and then I also am a salesperson. So okay. I buy most of the flowers and then I also sell the flowers too. Yeah, that's a fun, that's a fun twist. I used to do a lot of that. I actually kind of liked it because it sort of gave me, um, you know, I, I knew what was available. I knew what was going yeah. on. And so, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. It definitely cool. gives you a pulse, a pulse on what's going on and a pulse on what you can get, what you can't get. And it gives you a lot more ability to tell people when things are not going to happen or give them subs or things like that, for right, sure. Right, right, right. Well, um, okay, so I want to let everybody know that's tuning in that if you have questions, feel free to put them at the bottom or comments. Um, and if you're a fan of Jenna's, of course, we always like to know that because, you know, she's got her own following out there. And so um, I can't wait. This is going to be really great. Let's so maybe show us, give everybody, yeah, yeah, let's flip it and see. Ready, flip it. <laughs> I'm flip it. I'm flipping it. And here's the flip. Drum roll, please. Ta-da. Okay, let me back up so you can get the full vis. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff there. Okay, so that's full spectrum. Wow. Okay, that is, and then... are those antlers I see? Yes. Oh my gosh. We have an interesting fellow that um, <laughs> he comes from the Joshua tree slash Oregon slash, you know, kind of maybe circus. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, gotta love him. He's a different sort, but he comes with antlers and tiger wood and manzanita and grape wood and all kinds of fun treasures that you can't really find anywhere else. So. Uh, that that does make it fun. Yeah. So well, are you ready for zoom in? Yeah, let's zoom in and see what morsels you've pulled for us. Any preference on where I start, or should I just? No, ma'am. You're it? the. Well, you go for it. Okay, let's start with the bottom then. Bottom to the top. Bottom to the top. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. I'm very monochromatic, and I definitely do the ombre gig, so. Okay, so, okay, so go back. One thing that I'm seeing that I really love that you guys are carrying are these mixed bouquets. Aren't those awesome? Can you zoom in on one of those? Sure, and I've got different ones, so I'll zoom in on all of them for you. So that is the deluxe mixed light pink. Yeah. It's those are great way. because you don't have to buy whole bunches of things if you only need a little bit. For sure. And we've got a lot of people who buy them like if they're doing a uh, crown sh like crown workshops and stuff because they've got a little bit of everything and you don't have to buy everything. Yeah. You can right, buy that exactly. and cut it apart. 
And, you know, I know we're not going to talk about prices, but are they price point low enough that you could even do them as cash and carry? Like, you just resell them? Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. These are the priciest because they are larger, but let me shoot you over to the other ones. Well, you can tell there's a ton in there. Yeah. So, like, this is the Violet Fantasy one. And, I mean, even that is, that's a lot less, but it's really cool. And there's some pink in there, too. Mm Mm-hmm. I love that. So again, I mean, they, and we've got them in pretty much every color. I'm, I love this. I'm a purple junkie. <laughs> Definitely all the shades of lavenders and mauves are my thing. What is that? What is that to the left of the bunny grass or whatever that? Uh, this? Yeah. That is uh, lavender bougainvillea. Oh my goodness. I know. Go figure, right? It was one of those things I just was like, well, why not? When I saw when I saw it, I almost thought that it was like a sweet pea or something because it kind of has that feel. For sure. And you could use it in place of that and nobody would notice, but it won't die on you. <laughs> oh my God. This okay. is another one that's my fave. Uh, I love this so much. That is, it's like when I found these, I about died because, you know, everybody wants the fresh and you can only get them for 10 minutes from one grower somewhere. <laughs> You know, and, you know, for us, like, that doesn't work for me. So I want to make sure that we can have them all the time. Well, you know, what's funny. Go back to that for a second. You know that, um, so for people, we always called it Kent Oregano. Is that what you call it? Yep. Yeah. Is How's the stem length on that? Because I know sometimes it's short. It's not super. It's not, I mean, it's not too bad. That's not bad. No. That is not bad at all. It's not too bad at all. I mean, it's not huge. It's not, but it's like kind of the perfect, you can get a lot of different use out of it. You can. Because I remember we used it and you could use almost like the individual blooms and wire them for mm-hmm. boots and things. Or Definitely. We actually would have people sometimes think that they were like hydrangeas almost, like a big ball uh-huh. of hydrangeas. Um, I love it could that. Definitely, it could or definitely hops. pass for that. Yeah, it could definitely pass for that. And yeah, like the oregano type of hops, like the or the hops type of oregano, yeah. is so pretty. Pom- okay, is that oregano. strelitzia? No. Or what Which is one? that called? That one. Yeah. Berry oh, Filaris. Yeah, I see it. Gotta love that berry Filaris. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I told you I was a smart aleck. I warned you. That's okay. Okay, so I'm moving up to the next level. Now we're doing chocolate. So is that, what is that flat looking flower? This guy? Yeah. That's chocolate yarrow. Oh, cool. Yeah, I about, I, yeah, I was very excited when I found the chocolate yarrow. So now is that, is that painted or is that dried that color? No. I mean, the, the stem is totally. Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? I just love it. It's so pretty and it's not pricey either. Yeah, I love, I love me some chocolate yarrow, I think. I mean, just chocolate everything is just <laughs> like this whole chocolate <laughs> level is this whole chocolate level just is delicious. And this stuff, chocolate oak. I didn't want to take it out of the bag just because it gets everywhere. It is a little right. leaky, but it's also really cool. You guys have probably seen the bleached one, right? The bleached oak. Right, right. But this is the chocolate version. I mean, it's so cool. I love that. I mean, especially, you know, we're getting ready. Now, one of the reasons why we were really excited about doing this <laughs> was because traditionally after Labor Day is when all the dried product all the wreath making begins all of the centerpiece work begins um and i'm seeing all this and it makes me really think about that um Mm -hmm. all those possibilities so everybody just so you know if you're just joining us um this is jenna jenna foster with floor abundance and so if you see stuff here that you like uh we are going to try to recapture this list and put it um uh, you know put it on our our uh, website there that's what it is as a blog post perhaps <laughs> and you can see all the names of everything to go back and and 
and order it because I know you guys are going to want to. Um, okay, so love the poppy pods. Aren't those cool? And I've got two different colors right now, which are, I'm going to the next shade, which are, are really, okay. really cool. So. Look at those ones. Oh my gosh. I love the way they're so faded. Uh-huh. I know. And they're from a different grower, which I love too. I love getting different stuff from different people just because the difference just is always really cool to be able to see how different people do it. So what is that, that go back like right of the uh, poppy pods, that white? This one? Yeah, what is that? Starflower. Isn't that oh, cool? Wow. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and you have that in a lot of colors. Yeah, I've got it in pink, uh, white, and then you're rushing it because I've got it in gold too. <laughs> that's coming don't rush that's it. called don't a teaser it. that's called a teaser jenna <laughs> I, the gold is coming <laughs> oh uh, okay so I, yeah, i'm really gold. liking those faded poppy pods i know they're so cool with the little freckles too i love the freckles so much what is that berry that is linen pods oh yes uh-huh I've I mean, forgotten some of these. Oh, that's I beautiful. know. Well, because they're hard to get and you don't always get them, but I tend to buy and then stockpile a little bit so that we have <laughs> some stock when you can't get them everywhere else. You have to do it that way. And that's the one yeah. good thing about dried products. Yeah. It, is you can stockpile it and you can kind of kind of keep your stash safe because it is hard to get sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden they'll be sold out of everything you want and then you'll get nothing. Oh, wow. Wow. And that is apricot bombilla. So amazing. And what is that round flower? This guy? Yeah. Those are protea pods. Oh. Aren't they so cool? Yeah. Yeah. I love and what was, what, what was beneath that? That are burnt oak wild oats. Oh, I love those too. Yeah, we, is that is that fern underneath there? I'm sorry, I'm like yeah. a kid in a candy store. Yeah. This uh, to answer your question, this is Jenna Foster from Floor Abundance, and she's showing us a lot of their dried products today. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is that part, and then I'm cruising on up to the greens. And then there's some green leather also. I love all this preserved fern. It's so cool. So is it pretty pliable or is it brittle? Oh, no. Well, I mean, a little bit of both. But the brittle. But the you brittle can see it. Yeah. I mean, you get it a has little a lot of motion. Hand, but... Yeah. But I mean, you get everything on your hands. So there's some more of those mixed bouquets. Yeah, I'm loving that. Okay, so is that hydrangea underneath those? Yes. They're the basil antique hydrangea. They're so cool. And just preserved. They're still squishy. They've got some, <laughs> you know, because sometimes when they're dried, they get hard, and they're, they're really brittle, and then they just shatter. But these guys uh, are a little squishy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse my burpage yeah. on the squishy. Well, you know, I understand. It, they're, they're pliable. They're soft. Yes. They're fluffy. Yes. <laughs> and then I love these moss lotus pods. The moss lotus pods are super cool. Yeah. That's okay, great. now we're moving on to bleach. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Oh, wow. Artichokes. Amazing. Uh -huh. That's pretty amazing. Is, is that yarrow? What is uh -huh. that? Yeah, yarrow. Hmm. Hydrangeas. Oh, wow. I love that. The little Nigella guys. Yeah. And then some leather. Wow. And then more of the mixed bouquets. These are, these are definitely a favorite just because they're so neutral. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. And those are bleach proceopods. These guys are also really cool. They're plumosum. Real? Okay, so I don't know what that really is, I guess. Is that like an it's official a, family? It's like a leucodendron. It's in the leucodendron family. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 
just got in for bleached Lenaria. Still haven't been able to get our hands on the natural. That's a yeah, when I saw the when I saw the bleached, I don't think any of it's going to make it to natural. I think everybody's just going to bleach it. So, which is sad. I mean, everybody wants the natural, but it's really hard to get right now. I know. This stuff is super cool. Bleach lapidium. Oh. Okay, so can you pull that out because yeah. I think I really want to see that. I know you're holding a camera and everything else, so. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're going to make me lose the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Scott. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. Here, I'm going to put it on the floor. That way you get a better shot. Isn't that it's cool? so tall. How tall I is know. That? It's really tall. I mean, it's about the size of like a Bells of Ireland. It's really tall. Wow. Just for reference. It but looks yeah, like you get really so cool. much product. It's really cool. See the little seed, guys? It's like miniature Lunaria. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. And then we've got some Breeza. Just a little snaky, guys. Yeah. Whoopsie. And then this one's really cool, too. Argentina. And then, yeah, you can't be complete without antler. Or this guy. That is so, so long. I've never seen it that long. It's pretty cool. And then we also just started getting in some bleach curly willow, which will be awesome for the holidays, too. So um, let me jump in and answer this one question we've got. Sure. Um, it says, you know, how do they get bleach to look? Do they paint it or actually use bleach? I'm not exactly, some products they call bleach, I know, are actually just painted white, but a lot of the products yeah. are, they go through some process where they bleach out the chlorophyll, and I'm sure you yeah. can research yeah. that process. I really don't, I'm not familiar with that. So, um, so we got another question that says, do y'all sell mixed cases of dried? And I Absolutely. think you guys sell them, yeah, you do them just like you do your fresh, don't you? You can yeah. just mix and match. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can even do dried with the fresh, whatever you want to do. I mean, we sell a ton of dried. So we do mixed. Yeah, we do mixed all the time. Wow, that's really, really great. So on that bottom row, on that mm -hmm. bottom left hand corner, mm -hmm. um, can we go back to that for a second? Yep. Because I feel like there's a lot of items in there that. So. Is that amaranthus? That is it a pinky? It's hard to tell on on the camera sometimes. Is it salmon or is it? Just they call peach it or... they call it light pink, but it is. It's definitely kind of a peachy, blushy, pinky kind of color. Okay. Okay. So it's and definitely then that. And then that's bougainvillea also. <sighs> that, how many colors of that do you have? Right now, I only have. Um, I only have three. Normally, I would have like five, though. But I just I'm, I'm out of the bleached, and I'm out of one of the other colors. Well, actually, I have four because I have the fuchsia also. I've got that one too. Oh my goodness! So what is that foliage underneath that fuchsia? Is that ruscus or? Yeah. So I've got I've got the fuchsia ruscus, oh. and then I've got kind of a lilacy ruscus. And then a blush ruscus. Obviously, I like the ruscus. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's long, and you can use it in a hundred ways. Well, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things that just you can use it for anything. Now, traditionally, I think of this time of year is when a lot of farms are they're doing the drying themselves. You know, they're already in that process. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that some of the flowers have a definite season. Is the bougainvillea, is that something that is like a spring item that they dry for this time of year? Or are they drying it this time of year? I'm just trying to understand, you know, like sometimes people don't know. And I, and I would try to tell them, listen, if there's something you see that you like, you probably should stock up on it because yeah. there's no guarantee that it'll be there the next time. And so... Um, well, we first saw it last year, and it started with just a couple colors. And then the next thing we knew, they had 10, 20 different colors. And then it was 
now they've had it all the time. So I think it's just one of those things where if they sell out, then they won't have it kind of thing. And right. they've had some weird colors, so nobody really wants the weird colors. <laughs> like black and kind of some <laughs> not so yeah. red and yeah. some not so pretty colors. Bless their heart. <laughs> yeah. And they're not super cheap either. For I mean, for what you get, the stem, I mean, they're pretty small, so they're definitely sure. a pricier item. Sure. Now, is that something hanging up the top of the cart, like on the left and right? Is that? Yes, they're wreaths. We, uh, oh, our, wow. floor, our floor supervisor and myself tend to get a little, a little creative when we have time on our hands. <laughs> so we'll throw together a, a wreath or we'll spray the heck out of something or we'll, um, or we'll just get creative basically. So CD, our floor manager, made those. Those are great. Yeah. Well, so sometimes people just have to see the ideas. Um, yeah. You know, to kind of get their brain in that gear. So I see a question here about um, something that looked pliable. I'm not sure what mm -hmm. exactly that was. But, yeah, there's a lot of things that are glycerin treated. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I know, like, oak or hydrangea sometimes are. Yeah. I think the oak and the hydrangea are and definitely the, like the fern, the leather and stuff like that. They definitely are because they're the most pliable and they definitely leave the smell and the lovely uh, residue on your fingers after you use them. That's great. That's really good. Um, so somebody's asking about photos on the website, on your website. Mm -hmm, are the dried yes. items on the website? Yes, definitely. That's a great question. Um, also, I noticed, and one thing I always had a hard time finding, but I see you guys have them. Uh, what is those fans, those palm, uh, like the fan like palm trim? Yeah. Um, could you show those? Because I know those sure. are popular. Sure. And we've, um, we've I thought I saw them. Spears. Yeah, we've got the spears also. So there's just the standard, there's the standard fan palm, not just natural. And then, oh, man down with the artichokes. And then there's the bleached. And then I've got spears also. I don't have them in here, but we've got the spears with sure. the little teeny ones too. So uh, there's those guys. I love the size of them. They're not so big. Yeah, we, we tend not to get the real huge ones just because they're not as easy to work with. So I noticed that you guys posted uh, a teaser picture last night and you were mentioning um, some sort of contest or something. I don't know if that's still uh, going on or what, what's the deal with that? Um, that was something Debbie created and uh, she did a contest to see who, if anybody could guess what my favorite color palette was and some people did guess correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure if she's still doing it or if, if there was more than one winner or how she was picking mass. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but apparently people know me fairly well. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, so we won't do any spoiler alerts right now because there no. still could be, you know, a, a, a hot contest going on here. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so uh, what, I, there's so many great things here. What is something that's out of this collection? You mentioned there were some things that were new that had been kind of hard to get. I'm curious out of this, what was the more difficult items to find? I mean, definitely like the chocolate yarrow and the chocolate oak. Those are two things that I was super excited about that were a little on the newer side. Um, just really loving the the cream fantasy bouquets the mixed dried ones all the bouquets are just killer i mean and the poppy pods are super cool so i mean yeah that's everything, great everything is sort of hard to get just because you know once somebody runs out of it then you can't get anymore but ah, I, I love i love it all i mean i'm a dried flower junkie i can't help it <laughs> i can't help myself <laughs> Obviously. so someone's asking <laughs> I know, I know, and I know when I was buying it, it was always it always seemed like um, 
every time I opened a box, it was like a candy store. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, what is this now? And you get so, so yeah, it's totally. Um, someone's asking about the mixed bouquets. So is there a bleached one or is it just natural? Is that the lightest color one? This one is kind of mixed. It's got the Cardi Palustri, which is this guy, and that's bleached. And then it's got Everlasting okay. right here. So some of it's bleached and some of it's not, but like the um, the Jip or Bloom Broom, whichever you want to call it, that's bleached also. So it's just kind of a mix of a mix of dried and bleached. Okay. So I mean, okay, like, that's the lightest, dried, but not bleached. But those right. would be the best. That would be well, the best. I could, yeah, well, I could see that would be so popular with weddings and things because of the color palette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, these guys are super cool too. The skeletal leaves. Hello, oh, I love those. I felt like there was a period of time where you couldn't find those very well. Very that easy. was the yeah. That was another one I was super excited about, just because same thing. Like you couldn't find them anywhere, and I snagged them and was like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. So and you get a hundred um, per bag. A hundred per bag. It's I mean, it's you know, it's a lot. So if you do, you know, if you're making one, you know, one of those. What do you call them? The drapes. If you're making drapes with them for a wedding, that. they're so pretty. Yeah, I love that. I love you have them because it's such it's such a good item. Um, that's great, and they're not very big. But sometimes I feel like they're really brittle and big. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, this has been great. Um, I thoroughly enjoy you doing this for everybody. Well, thank um, you for having me. Oh, well, of course. Somebody's asking, what are these? If you're referring to the items she just mentioned, those are skeleton leaves. And it's almost like they look like a little skeleton, like they're not solid, yeah. right? It, no, it's like a, it's basically like a leaf that's been dried out maybe in the sun or bleached and it's their transparent skeleton so they're super yeah. thin and real light but they're beautiful yeah yeah they really are well is any, uh, we'll just give everyone a second if there's any other questions out there this is your time to ask um i I was trying to remember if there was um, one thing I was wondering about myself while we're waiting. What is the darkest bouquet that you have? You know, I know a lot of burgundies and maroons. Um, you know, I wish that there was a dark one like that. We don't, they don't really have a super dark one. The violet one, I would say okay. is the darkest. There is a red, but it's just kind of a standard bright red. It's not particularly uh, dark. I understand. But, yeah, sure. but we also can make bouquets too. Oh, so, okay. Uh huh. So that's something that we also, we, we get real creative here, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> we get With all real your spare time. Here. <laughs> yes, we, we pretty much can do whatever you like. We can make you a dried garland. We can make you a dried wreath. We can make you really? whatever you like. Uh huh. Wow. We well, that's pretty... yeah, we're... So how much we, we notice get... do you need when you do something like that? It just depends. It just kind of depends on what they want and when they want it. I mean, we throw stuff together last minute so frequently, especially these days. Thank you, COVID. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah, really. But we almost, you know, we just specialize in doing things quickly. And because we all are super creative here, it, it's easy to just throw things together. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jenna. I appreciate thank you. it. Um, I can't wait to share this video and, the, and this long list of things. Um, I think it's I think it's great. So tell everybody I said hi at Floor Abundance. Will do. And, thank you. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Have a good day, Scott. Take care. You too. Bye bye.